dating white men who I love, it's zero of your business. You ratchet, he real. You got your weed from Goodwill. Jenna Marbles and Julian found out about Jay Cyrus. They didn't block me or any of the other victims. Instead, and off Jay Cyrus apologized for even associating with him and reached out. Where she was on Tiny Chat talking with racists, saying the N-word, laughing at racist jokes. And she made a song called Didn't Do Nothing term used by racists and white supremacists. Boyfriend Jay Cyrus sexually harassed his mods and his own woman viewers. You're in a position of power and you abuse it, but it's wrong. <laughs> I fucked up. Doja Cat is getting backlash for hating her fans, calling them dumb blocking them. She is also being petty and not allowing them to adopt the term kittens as their fandom name. Her fans are unfollowing her and leaving the unnamed fandom. Her PR team is in crisis and has made an old fan interaction go viral. There's this new video of Doja Cat interacting with fans that has gone viral. Oh my god! <laughs> Did I Just love you? ran a mile. I love you so much. I love you, Doja. Can I give you a hug? I love you, Doja. Oh my god! I love you. I love you. Have fun. I love you so much. I'm not your friend. It's f you, y'all. Okay, so we all know Doja Cat is being canceled because her boyfriend is a groomer and apparently a racist. Call them all because I just figured out what I'm doing for my glamour shots. Oh, you a bad man. I know. Mm -hmm. But then something switched. She became famous. She became one of the biggest pop stars of the time. She had endless amounts of money at her fingertips. And you know what else she had? A diehard fan base that would excuse every shitty thing that she would do moving forward. I used to like your music, but you treat your fans like shit. Dude, literally stop. You act like I have some responsibility to be like babying people and treating people like I'm stupid, but they're not stupid. That's why I yell at them. I'm not your friend. I make music and you like it. And if you don't, cool, great. I don't give a shit. I'm not doing it so that you like me. I'm doing it because it's fun. I love my fans. I wouldn't have this painting in front of me if it wasn't for my fans. I wouldn't have food on my table. I wouldn't have my house if it wasn't for my fans. I would have a home, but I wouldn't have this house probably. But I'm not giving them all the credit because I do work my ass off. So I think I understand my people haters really. I understand the people love me. Fans are also leaving because they don't like her new boyfriend, Jay Cyrus, who is a social media personality that have allegedly groomed multiple minors on Twitch. Doja's fans are begging her to break up with him. Her choosing to date him indirectly means that she doesn't care about his disgusting essay allegations. She's actively supporting and standing by him while she goes off on fans who are calling her out for dating him. It's giving demonic and evil woman. This is what somebody said to Doja Cat amidst all of the allegations, and this is what Doja Cat had to say. I want y'all to read this comment and take it as a message. I don't give a f what you think about my personal life. I never have and never will give a fuck think about me or my personal life goodbye and good riddance miserable ho jay cyrus gave an apology in 2020 on his twitch stream and admitted to the allegations all i can do is take accountability and credit for what i have done and moving forward i know now that i will never make these mistakes again it's my fault i i live with that and i will i'm saying that when you're in a position of power and you abuse it by not considering where you are and what you are it's wrong and I didn't consider it, and I didn't, uh, I didn't practice what I preached. I'm guilty of that. And I owe you an apology, and I'm sorry. Doja Cat is blocking her boyfriend victims that are speaking out about their experience with him. Kittens thing, but yet nobody's mentioning the grooming is insane to me. You know how her boyfriend, Jay Cyrus, was in my friend's soap steams when she was 14. Then how he sexually harassed his mods and his own woman viewers. And Doja Cat, while not directly responsible for those actions, silenced so silence other women by just blocking them. And I found out today that when Jenna Marbles found out this information right about Jay Cyrus, about what he did and all that, she disavowed and denounced him as well as her partner Julian, also disavowing and disconnecting from Jay Cyrus. She reached out to Soph to see if she was okay. That is the bare minimum, but that's so much more than so many people have done, so. I'm not surprised that Jenna Marbles and her husband did the right thing and ended their friendship with Jay Cyrus. So the question is, if they can, why can't Doja? You ratchet, we real. You got your weed from Goodwill. Girl, I got a rich man. And that's no bills, girl, please. Doja Cat is probably more upset about this J. Cyrus Goodwill video than his allegations because it hits a nerve. There was a period where she was infamous for wearing bad Goodwill looking wigs. She's complained about how horrible curly hair is and how much she hates her hair. Curly hair can suck my I fucking hate this shit, bro. 
fish 4C hair just so that she could go bald. Career highlight of mine has been, weirdly enough, shaving my head. I feel like it's helped me a lot with my my health. My wigs look better and it, it makes me feel good to look good. Doja Cat and Jay Cyrus have more in common than we can all imagine. Both have disturbing scandals and made public apologies. But it appears that neither of them has learned from their mistakes. She is addicted to interacting with her fans and being online, but at the same time blame her fans for being parasocial. When both her and Nikki got their first number one with Say So Remix, Doja celebrated on Tiny Chat with her incel friends, the audacity of her to tell her fans to get a life and stop being chronically online. Do you all remember when she claimed that YouTuber Lori Hill was trying to destroy her brand? Her just talking about me just put... And that's my brand. Lori making a video about her alleged plastic surgery is nothing compared to her dating a man with essay allegations. Girl, you and your boyfriend is the one destroying your brand. Because of the online discord, her racist tiny chat scandal from 2020 has been discussed. Her behavior makes it very obvious that her public apology was all about saving her career. And it was not genuine at all. I, I have woken up like just like this. I've woken up like this. Uh, what's your favorite Bianca song? Beyonce is the cream of the fucking crop. Beyonce is the reason why I believe that I can be who I am. Like I said, she was exposed being on Tiny Chat, basically hanging out and talking to racists, saying the N-word and laughing at racist jokes, and stood by while others made racist comments against a black guy. She also used to strip for white supremacists, which is interesting because she's got a song called Cyber the whole incident started the discussion about Doja got a weird fetish for race play and kink humiliation since she actively exposes herself to racist abuse and constantly seeks white validation. Night Doja. <laughs> so easy and loose. Let's go to the <gasps> end. <laughs> and only two. Yes, daddy. Oh my oh my God. God. Mm -hmm. Her shirt reminds me of a baby duck. Would you feed a tube into my channel at the end and pour all what types of liquor down know. there? Certain message boards at that time made claims that while Doja was on these sites, she allegedly admitted to hating her blackness and only liking her thick and light-skinned features. Hey, so uh, if you're stupid as f you probably left a comment under this picture talking about this. Hey, how about I'm half white, not entirely black. My skin gets very light when I don't tan. I was staying indoors a lot before that shoot. New f***ing subject. Her mom is white and her dad is South African. It seems like she has identity issues, especially since she looks more like her dad than her mom. Her dad has never been in the picture. She grew up only with her white side of the family. Her racist tweet resurfaced, saying thinking about being black can make any sensible person depressed. Like, just think about it. When they wouldn't being white makes so much more sense. Life would have value. She made a racist song that mocked black people who gone through police brutality called Didn't Do Nothing, which is a term used by racists and white supremacists that originally started on a 4chan chat room, where people were making fun of the murder of Mike Brown and has since been used when black people are murdered by police. And when Klan leader David Duke uses this term on Twitter, it proves how common it is among white supremacist groups. People suspect that the song is a reference to Sandra Bland, who died in police custody in 2015 beginning of her career when her fans actually held her accountable and made her apologize for the shitty things that she did, she actually issued apologies, saying that she is so sorry she was ever in those racist chat rooms and that she's not a racist. That song is in zero ways, in no way connected to police brutality or Sandra Bland. And this is where I'm saying, shut the fuck you, and then I say hard R, the N word. Maybe some of you thought that I was saying, uh, call me the hard R N word. I'm in no way into race play. She even started in 2022 revisit tiny chat rooms again, the place that almost destroyed her entire career. Well, you, should, you should take my ass and you should fuck like make friends with it. Like it's a big deal. <laughs> Man, I can't. You can't.
<laughs> yeah, right? All of them. <laughs> Some fans are speculating that her social media antics is all an act for her Scarlet era, or that she is trying to get out of her bad record deal with Dr. Luke's label, which she signed when she was only 17. But I'm not sure if this is the case, because why would she want to sabotage her own career and downgrade her lifestyle? She would be forced to make less money and be in debt to Dr. Luke. Instead of trying to sabotage her career, she should try to terminate her contract with her label and negotiated a new one. Like 30 Seconds to Mars did. Artists cannot be bound to a contract for more than seven years in California, and she had been signed for 10 years. Signed for nine years under California law, you can't be held bound to a contract for more than seven years, which the courts and myself and we all feel is pretty reasonable. On July 4th, 2008, we sent a termination letter to EMI. We cited the seven-year statute, which legally ended our contract with the company. Alleged leaked screenshots from group chats with her reveal how bad her contract really is. She wrote, I died before I got out of my contract with Dr. Luke. What I found very interesting is that Doja has fast forgotten that she was treated like expired shelved music by her label. In 2013, the same year Doja signed to Dr. Luke's imprint, he signed another female artist named Elephant. It became very obvious that Doja was not seen as marketable act. He pushed and promoted Elephant from day one. They were in studio working on music right away. He set up a showcase for her so she could perform a front of as many influenceable people in the music industry. At the same time, Doja was performing at home parties and different L.A. underground hip-hop scenes. He also made sure that Elephant was in the studio working with other popular producers like Diplo, Sonny Moore, and Major Lazer. Doja Cat was not that lucky. She didn't get any opportunity to have her own showcase or work with influential producers. That same year, Elephant released her first album and single with Sonny Moore. Doja was continued to perform at underground parties in L.A., still not getting any type of marketing or push from her label. She was forced to operate more like an independent artist. I, I feel proud that I found this and I reached out and I brought you to this show. Respect, mm -hmm. show. Definitely love your music, Thank yo. you. Keep doing that shit. Uh, what can cats find your shit? I, uh, you can look me up on SoundCloud at uh, Ami Zandile, but I suggest that you go, <laughs> African ass name, <laughs> but I suggest that you go to SoundCloud and then uh, type in Doji Cat. And Between 2013 and 2016, Elephant released one EP and three albums. During the same period, Doja only released her one EP per. The striking difference between them is fascinating. Doja had to wait until 2018 to release her first album. The label really wanted Elephant to become mainstream. They really tried the Rihanna format of releasing one album every year. But that only works if you are Rihanna. It didn't help that Elephant was trying to be wannabe Jamaican with her music. We just sat down and started to do music the way it's supposed to be done. Like, uh, jam it, jam it. Uh, and yeah, it got insp inspired by, by the moment and, you know, made a wicked song. And with her singing fake accent to the point that people and even musicians didn't understand what she is singing about. It feels like somebody's got hold of something very, very culturally specific. I can't really understand what she's saying. And the reason for that is because it's almost patois. Is she just a white woman singing patois? Her music was giving Chet Hanks vibes. We got the youth then way out of Kingston. I wake up this morning and I see the thing turn up. Internet gone mad. Respect, you don't know. I soon fire with a yard. Booyaka, booyaka. Arr. She was finally allowed to release her first album, Amala, in 2018. But the label gave the album zero marketing and support. Out of frustration, Doja was forced to resort to making me music to try to get a viral hit. She made Moo all by herself in one day. The funny music video went viral. The success of Moo is believed to have proved to her record label that Doja was a marketable act. Turns out Doja never needed to team up with hit producers. She only needed herself. I had intention of making like meme music that would maybe reach a wider audience that would make people go, what the hell is this? I should share this. And Doja's label boss, Dr. Luke, has worked with all the pop girls from Katy Perry, Miley Cyrus, Rihanna and Britney Spears. He never believed in Doja Cat's potential as an artist and only chose to invest in her after her meme song went viral. When her on label doesn't believe in her, the only thing she has is her fans and what does she choose to do attacking and disrespecting them? She can't actually afford to behave like this and all of her top charted songs are collabs. She would be nothing without the collabs of SZA, Nicki Minaj and their fandom. 
Doja Cat is talented and could have been one of the biggest pop star of this generation if she wasn't self-hating, weird, toxic, and terrible person. I don't think she's going to get canceled because cancel culture truly doesn't seem to exist. People get angry for a while and then they move on to the next hot topic. If cancel culture really existed, she would have been canceled for her racist and anti-blackness behavior. To me, it seems like Doja is mentally unwell and probably have been for many years, which could explain her engaging with racist men with essay allegations is not a good sign of great mental health. Am I too loud? <laughs> no, you sound great. Oh, uh, yeah? Do I sound great? Yeah, I you sound, sound great. Like good. Yeah, I probably just came here to spray you, to be honest. Oh, yeah, they sprayed me. <laughs> you sprayed my ass. Get it together. I wouldn't be surprised if her downfall is going to be bad and fast. Doja needs an intervention and therapy. Thank you very much for watching my first YouTube video. As a newbie, I would appreciate if you liked my video to give it a like and hopefully subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know what you guys think about all this Doja Cat mess in the comments below.